Listen, I don't care if you don't like the fact that I'm dressed up for Christmas. I am ready to go and I am excited and we know the update is coming soon. So whether or not you like it, I am doing it. So deal with it, okay? Deal with it. So before this video begins, don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram at bplays. I'm going to be following some of you guys back, but I've also been doing a bunch of Robux giveaways and diamond giveaways and more for various things for you guys to win just by following me. I've been posting a bunch of cool pictures with my friends as well, and inside of these posts, there's lots of ways for you to win a bunch of really cool giveaways. So make sure you go and follow me, the link is in the description, and I will of course follow some of you guys back, and hopefully you will win some awesome prizes from my giveaways throughout November and December. <laughs> Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack up B when buying Robux or Premium. Today you guys, we are going to be talking about the very important things that you need to do before the new Christmas update comes out. We know the winter update for 2022 is on the way, we know that Lance has already confirmed on his stream that the update is going to be coming, so there's going to be a few steps that we are going to need to take before this update comes out. especially because the devs said they are still going to try to aim for the new school to come out this year as well which means we are going to need to take extra steps this time in comparison to what we usually do that's right you guys are gonna need to be really rich basically so get ready for this one you guys hold on to your hat so first things first, obviously you guys, the best thing that you can do right now to prepare is, I'm assuming you've already done all of your Halloween stuff basically because the update is leaving soon. I assume you have covered everything. So in the meantime, what you need to do is start thinking about the stuff that's out right now for winter. If you happen to not have any of the shoes, like the cookie cutter loafers, or maybe you haven't yet bought the December's Dream, or maybe you haven't bought any of the new... Christmas stuff that are things from last year, the year before, like the Star Bros set or the Winter Guardian set, whatever it might be, if you haven't got these yet, you definitely want to get them soon. The reason for that is because you don't want to be grinding during the Christmas update to try to get old items, you guys. Every year, I remind you of this, I say this all the time, it is in your best interest to do all of your grinding beforehand so that you are ready to go and have bought everything that you need before the update comes out. You want to basically try to aim to have purchased everything from previous years before the next year's update. Because if you have to buy stuff from the previous year at the same time as next year, it's going to be really, really hard trying to save enough diamonds for it. So once you have bought everything that you need for the previous year, that is when you need to think about the next year. So next year's stuff, meaning this year coming, is obviously going to be exciting. There might be another Christmas set again. There might be some other accessories like new shoes that you need to be able to buy with diamonds. So you're going to want to definitely grind some diamonds, you guys. Now, I usually say go for in the region of around 250,000 diamonds, just because we know that new sets usually cost anywhere from around 180 to 200,000 diamonds these days. So obviously, you want to make sure you have a little bit more in case any other accessories, and at least to make it easier for you to not need to grind as much during the update. But obviously, there is likely going to be a set, and the sets are usually expensive, and they will take the bulk of your diamonds. So definitely consider that, you guys, when going forward. Now, you will also need some diamonds if there is an advent obviously to send gifts in the advent it does cost it's not super expensive so you don't need a lot but you do need diamonds in some way to be able to send those gifts if you don't have any so that's something to bear in mind too in case there is another advent now when you receive the gifts obviously you'll be able to open up and get lots of presents and various things and items in the game from those presents but you will need a friend to send those gifts to you so if you haven't already pulled together with a friend to plan for the advent just in case it comes it might be a good idea to chat to a friend about coming together to work on it together for obviously the benefit of making sure you each receive every item don't forget that in order to get the angel halo the badge and of course the angel wings at the end you have to actually get every single accessory from every single day of the advent and that's obviously assuming they do the angel halo again they might do something different this year that you really want to get and therefore you will need to get a present every single day and again so you can get the badge so that's something you need to prepare for as well just in case they decide to do it now obviously you guys in addition to all of the normal preparations you should be doing before an update you also have to sort of think about whether or not you need to prepare for the new school you know that Lance said in his recent live stream that they are still going to try and get the new school out this year that would mean 
mean it would come out probably towards the end of December, which means you aren't just going to need your money for the Christmas update, you are also going to need to consider how you're going to afford things in the new school. You know the new school is going to be quite expensive, so it's definitely going to be something you're going to need a good chunk of diamonds for. If you're saving for the new school, I still feel that a million diamonds is going to be what an average person needs to be able to get a big chunk of the stuff when it first comes out, because obviously it's intended that you're going to play the update over many, many, many months, maybe even years, because it is a permanent update, but obviously that means things will be expensive. So if you want to get a nice boost when we get started, you're going to need a good amount of diamonds to be able to afford all of the things that come out, like dorm furniture, locker decorations, new potential sets, new items, new accessories, backpacks. There's loads and loads of things we know that are coming in the new school that are likely going to cost us a lot, so it's definitely worth considering whether or not you have enough diamonds for those too. Ultimately, you guys, you are really just going to need to grind a lot. You don't necessarily need to increase your level unless you're not trading level. I would definitely focus on doing it if you're not. But obviously, the higher level you are, the better level up rewards you're going to get when the level up rewards come out too. We already know they said the level up rewards should be coming out somewhere around the new school time. So, obviously, the higher level you are, the more stuff you're going to get. But I would definitely, in my opinion, focus on the diamonds. Do your daily logins and do some diamond hunting and grinding. And make sure to sleep regularly while you're doing it so you'll level up anyway. Because then at least you'll increase your level gradually. But I definitely, definitely suggest that you guys get going with all the grinding now. Don't wait any more time if you haven't started yet. Just do a couple of like farming routines every day. Maybe just run around the realms. Maybe just do like an, an hour of farming a day, half an hour, whatever you can give up time wise, just so that you can give yourself that little bit of boost before the winter update comes out. And then don't forget, there will also be a new Halo. That one obviously won't cost. You don't have to pay for that unless you want to trade for it. So if you want to trade for it, you're going to need diamonds or good items to trade. Alternatively, you're going to be prepared for a new fountain with a new set of fountain stories to wish into. So also prepare to keep your eyes peeled for any of the tables made by Mafalda or anyone else so that you can utilize the information to hopefully win one. So that all means I would love to know if there's anything else you think that everybody needs to do to prepare for the winter update. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell. Please don't forget to check out my other channels. It's B Plays for Bloxburg Roleplays, Beatrice, or B Plays Vlogs if you search on YouTube for my vlogs, and of course, basically B for my Minecraft videos and B Juega for my Spanish videos. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Bye! -bye.